That's a pike, man. Oh, decent size one. Not quite as big as that last one I caught, but get him back in the water. Yeah, not what I was expecting out here. I was honestly out here for for smallies, but I'll take whatever's gonna hit it. Let's get him back in the water here, like a boss. What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, as you know by today's title, I got a new setup that I am actually very stoked about. It is the Cast King Spartacus 2, and I paired it with a uh, Berkeley Lightning Rod that's a 7-foot medium, but it's a moderate fast action, so it's a little bit stiffer of a medium. Not quite a medium heavy, but still seems to do pretty good. And uh, yeah, we got out and we uh, did some fishing, even with all the smoke and heat. And I uh, feel like we got this bad boy pretty well broke in. So check her out. Oh man, the rain is nice. Fish on. There was at least a bite. Oh, there is. There's a fish on there. Just a little guy, but he's got a couple small ones following him. We'll count that. First cast. That's awesome. <laughs> Your psychosis knows no bounds, does it? Ow! SOB. I get it, you're feisty. Super feisty. Yeah! Get back in there. Crazy little guy. Fish on. It's a better small mouth. Ooh, that's a pretty good one compared to all the ones I've been catching. I mean, he's no two pounder, but he's definitely bigger. Definitely a bigger one. Like I said, no monster, but it's the right track. Starting to get bigger ones to grab it. Spinner bait, man, I'm telling you. 
all around fish slayer. And this, this setup, this reel, it's the Cast King Spartacus 2. And it is smooth with a fish on. I mean, all I've had is smallies and little ones at that, but I feel like it's gonna do just dandy once I do get something bigger to bite. Whether it's a big smallie or a big pike or anything. Super, super duper smooth. Yeah, we'll try, we'll try the chatterbait out. I forget the name of this company already. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, with my klutzy ass, wow. Did I fuck up any of these ones? No, okay. First smallie on the chatterbait. Oh, come on, come out of there. There we go. Starting to get some spots. Nice looking little fish. I did not think I would have service out here, so I don't know how it's dinging. But is what it is. <laughs> I'm out here fishing, I don't care about that. Pretty good one. Best one of the day, I feel like. Yeah, definitely. Ow. Pierced his lip. Yeah, he's a good one. Is a very good one. Chunked it out on that freaking shaky head. He slammed that thing. Get in there. Absolutely slammed this thing. Dink.
fish on. Another pike minnow. A good one too. Yeah, another good one. Let's get him back in the water. Yeah. This is so deep right here. Dink. Yeah. Dink little red eye. If I can make it back. I didn't know what I wanted to try. Seen a couple of them hit top water, but I'm wondering if it's even them and if it's not pike. Just gonna throw out the good old square bill. See how that does. Got one. Not big by any means, but got one. Perfect. I hope he makes it. Oh no, he's not gonna make it out of there. Okay. I'll rescue him.
<laughs> there we go. Got him rescued. Well, guys, that's going to be about it for this one. We uh, we got out, did some good fishing. And uh, before I go further with any of this, I want to uh, take a quick second to say thank you to all of my wildland firefighters uh, here in my own state and across the nation for getting out and busting your asses to try to help keep people safe and uh, send prayers to the area because a lot of people here have unfortunately lost a lot. And uh, yeah, if you can donate maybe to the Red Cross or anything like that, it would be definitely much appreciated for everybody that lost everything. So, but uh, I wanted to take a quick second and kind of do a bit of an unboxing. It's not gonna be like, mystery tackle box or monster bass or anything like that it's just a bunch of stuff that i picked out and bought off of uh amazon and uh yeah i mean it's most of it you haven't really seen i guess i threw the chatterbait around a little bit that i bought um but to start things off i got a new life jacket which i am super stoked about it's a lot lighter and more comfortable than the one that I've been wearing and it's also rated for more weight because uh, safety first uh, then we got some uh, packs of jigs which I've got lots of jigs I use jigs like crazy these ones were kind of neat though because they're still a half ounce head but they've got a smaller hook so I was really hoping that these ones would go good with smallmouth I have unfortunately lost one of them already but that is the name of the game the next thing is uh some mad bite bladed jigs chatterbaits um which again i picked out i liked the colors for one we got the dark blue and then we got a red one and i've got a green pumpkin one that's tied onto one of my poles as well I, again i picked these out because they got smaller shank hooks and I was hoping they'd do good on the smallies. Um, let's see what else we've got here. I've got this huge pack of jigs here. Bunch of skirts. And these are, again, all half ounce. Kind of standard weedless jigs. Um, and then I've got the a good chunk, which unfortunately I've lost one of these already too. But we've got the uh, the thick fish sniper spin. I don't know why they call them sniper spins, but I actually really liked the design of the head. They've got the heavy shank hooks. Be real good for a large mouth. Um, and then I got what else did I get here? Oh boy! Ow! That's what happens. You get stabbed. <laughs> And then I got a couple different spinner baits here. I got one solid Colorado blade. This is a Booyah Moonwalker or Moon Talker or something like that. And then I got a whole bunch of different styles in the in the Strike Kings. This one's like the three quarter ounce. This one's a half ounce. They've all got different blade styles. One's a deep runner. I think that's this one. This one's the deep runner. So the blades are designed to not lift the bait as much, which should be fun. These are going to go great with pike. And then uh, what else did I get? I got this nice, uh, nice Strike King buzz bait. Got a couple more of them coming. And these ones are ones that I've been trying to get my hands on for a while. Uh, Cabela's here used to pack them and they don't anymore, which is the Missile Baits D-Bomb. I really, really enjoy those. They're a lot of fun. I actually pulled my personal best on one. And then I've got a couple of three-quarter ounce tungsten jigs here. A Bitsy Flip. Where is he? I know he was just in here. And this is the one that I was most excited for on jigs. This is the, uh, the Game Changer, the Trash Master. Uh, I am super stoked on this one. It's gonna get some good work in. Then obviously, I, I mean, I had to get some plastics. I got some 
Rage Craws and some Rage Swimmers. Obviously, I got the D-Bombs. And then these are ones that I'm really excited for. This is the Live Target Bluegill. I do believe it's two ounces. That hook is just insane. This is gonna be a big bass slayer. And then I also got the Live Target Adult Trout, which, uh, God, the thing is ridiculously large. The tail action on it is going to be insane. And I'm gonna probably try to save this one again for trying to hit some big large mouth. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for the unbox here. All of this you're gonna be seeing in the next couple few videos. And uh, yeah, if y'all enjoy, please don't forget to like and subscribe. <clears throat> um, and share it up with your friends. Uh, Again, thank you everybody and keep casting.